This is my Ozark SUV tent review. The reason I'm doing this review is I wanted to go camping but get something that would hook up to my SUV. There's a few to choose from, but this particular one caught my eye because it was so much cheaper than the others out there. Does cheap equate to low quality and poor design? Well, here's my review of this tent. The reason I wanted to do this review was because I looked on YouTube and saw that there were very few videos on this tent and I expected there would be more. So here is a review from someone that is a novice to camping with the exception of camping I did as a Boy Scout when I was a kid. I have camped with this tent two times now and I do love it. So here is my review. So I got this tent on walmart.com. Uh, you can't find it in the stores, and it was rather difficult to purchase because um, frequently it's out of stock. So I wasn't a hundred percent sure. Um, it was kind of a mixed bag as far as reviews go. If it was going to be a good tent or not, so I took a leap of faith and I decided to buy it tie-offs but like I said it must be a popular tent because it's not always in so stock and you have to space. check so um, I wanted to buy it before and I waited too long and it was out of stock so then I tried again and I said, geez, I better get this tent before it's out of stock again. Because um, similar tents are going for like two to $300, which is um, $150 to $200 more than you can buy this tent for, which is, uh, I believe it was $89.95 I paid. Doing that. Got a space for firing. And it's got a space for an extension cord there. That's the portal where it would attach to your SUV. And it's got a nice little uh, like front porch here in the front to kind of separate if it's a rainy day to kind of separate you from you know the inside from the outside it shelters you from the rain a little bit and it has nice big uh, wide doors with a double zipper Big door. There's lots of um, cubbies here with pockets to put things in. And as you can see, this is all a mesh screen. So you could take this off. It has kind of a thick uh, floor on it that um, does pretty well keeping the rain out. Um, to be honest with you, um, there was a lot of wind and rain while I was camping one of the days. I mean, it really poured. And um, the interior of this tent stayed very stable in the wind and um, it stayed bone dry on the inside. Let's see 
nice hanging. To hang a lantern or something above. So a nice pocket here. And another pocket over here. So you could almost use this as a screen house. And as far as assembly, um, some large. people said that this was rather difficult to assemble and you needed two people. Um, I could say from my perspective, I haven't had a lot of experience of late uh, assembling tents. And uh, the first time it was a little difficult, but then once you get used to it, you can easily assemble this yourself. Uh, one person can do it. And um, these two tabs here, I didn't know what they were for, and then I found out much later on it comes with this um, pock these pockets here that hook onto it. Unfortunately, um, there was a defect. Almost looks like someone cut this accidentally with a utility knife. Someone sliced it with a utility knife. And there it is installed in all its glory. Now here is a view of it set up with the tunnel attached to, the, crooked. to my SUV. And I have a RAV4 in it. Um, it fit pretty snug. Uh, I read other reviews where... People that have larger SUVs, they do have trouble with this tunnel fitting. So I think it has to be a mid-size to small SUV for it to work properly. But on my RAV4, it fit pretty well. Unfortunately, I parked rather crooked, so next time I'll try to park better. But I just wanted to mostly illustrate how it worked. Uh, I'll probably uh, use this feature a lot more the more I go camping. Could use this as a greenhouse. Few map, few defects. There were a few um, defects in the workmanship. Um, but overall, I think this tent is on par with most tents out there as far as quality is concerned. And here is a picture of it from the outside with the tunnel attached to my hatchback. And uh, as you can see, it kind of wraps around. And uh, it tucks underneath the floor. Um, I still think I could have done a better job attaching it, but... Um, as I use it more, I'll get into that. And a lot of people couldn't find the instructions. The, bag. the instructions are actually in the bag. And um, they're attached to the bag. So I don't think a lot of people can find them and they think they have no instructions. But they are there and they're relatively um, comprehensive as far as the assembly. I mean, if they're not the best instructions that I've ever seen, but they're still decent. I could figure it out. Now I know, and it'll take me no time at all. And finally, here is a view of it, the, um, the tent without the rain fly, which increases the airflow. And I have the tunnel rolled up. So you could use that as an extra door and screen on uh, nice days with no chance of rain, you can increase the airflow in the tent. Or you could even use it as a screen house. was able to get it in the bag, but 
took a lot wish it had a double zipper it just has a single zipper so here's my rating of this tent value is a 10 i think the price is beautiful for what you get Ease of assembly is 8. It's not the easiest thing, but it's not the hardest either. Quality, 8. It's uh, pretty decent quality on par with other tents of this type. Design and functionality, 10. I liked how the rain fly was removable. I liked the all the cubbies they included. I liked the design of the tunnel that connects to your SUV. So it was all around... Uh, a very good, uh, pretty well-designed tent. So I hope someone that uh, is looking into buying an SUV tent likes the, um, the convenience of having a tunnel um, that they'll see this video and it will help them make a selection. I think it's a good uh, tent for first-timers as well as for um, people that camp frequently uh see how it the tent holds up over time i might do another video uh you know maybe six months down the road but so far i'm very happy thanks for watching bye